Huyu mugu tunasoma kwa Biblia. Ako hivyo mnamwambia muona. Mungu, ah ni mkubwa sana. Kitu kimoja Mungu hataki. Na daima ukikaa kanisani Mungu hataki. Ni umuzoe. Do you know kwa nini wafaume mfaume kama kiongozi kama uhuru au prime minister of Britain katika siasa kama mji katika siasa ukitaka daima kukaa ukiwa rafiki ya president usimzoe ukitaka daima eh kuwa rafiki ya nyumba ya king queen elizabeth whatever usiwazoe Leo uhuru akija aketi hiyo kiti. Na pasta hapo hapa tuko lazima tusimzoe. Ukimzoea kuna kitu ndani yake itaisha kukuhusu. Mnaona vile president atatembea kwa so free, kuna kitu atakaye mjue. Sio ati rais hajui ni rais, anajijua I'm the president. I am there. Kuna vile naweza kuna jamaa moja Tukato wasama na ye. Moi alienda nyeri. Rorengo. Akafikiria hii. Wacha ni huze suti ya moi. Nijue. Sabu moi wasu. Ali wakalibia sana. Na ni watoto hii. Aguye suti ya kiasikia matiriyo. Ainiambia aligongwa. Hakujua. Iyo. Mwenye kubonga meto kwa wapi. Aligongwa akagada mwili upade moja for a week. Dialijua hata kama amemkaribia si watakuwa kumzoea eh? The same thing the church. Do you know vile tutakaa hivi? Usizoe hata usizoe mtu. Hakuna mtu hata mtoto hana heshima yake. Na tuliyapukizwa na Mungu. Wacha kuna watu uongea mambo ya wengine unasema hii unasema hii unasema let me tell you we don't do that. That's why mnaona sisi hata sisi na sisi mini bishop mtoto akija atakao mtoto mchaka kwa ofisi yangu na muheshimu. That's how ministry is. We are prophetic. Hakuna mtu hapa ana unabii wa ajabu. Mbu, you are mighty man in the kingdom. Hallelujah! Nasikia Lord. Ule kijana yako akija kwa ofisi yangu naona nabii mkubwa. Naona future of this church. Joro akija. Joro ukuja na cheka cheka na oh this is a mighty man of God. Joro ida waju. That's how God can use you to your blessing. Now that to me one one of the things that you make your marriage great. Please ata kama mumezoeana. Kuna pahali katika marriage muzizoeane sana. Mupendane. Bible haikusema tuzoeane. Bible lisema tupendane. Kuna tofauti ya kupendana kuzoea? Unajua siku hizi napigiwa simu sana. For the last one week, separations are so high. Wakati, kuna siku moja ni ya mua kupumzika tu, lakini kawa na simu na pigwa sana. Hasa hii ya TV. So many women called. Na siku sikia mabe ya magojwa mimi. Nisikia, nimeachwa, nimeachwa, nimeachwa. Nimeachwa. Sijui hasa wa dada wa kenyaka. Kwa hivyo kenyaka kuna nini? Kenyaka kuliko. Wakisharu? kule dise kwa haja kirenyaka sana na sehemu ya na Nairobi Nairobi ukienda kangudo huko wapi na kuru na na kuru meachwa nyadara sio sana nyadara nafikiri sababu ya ya viasi kuna vita but i notice one thing attitude wanaume wengi hawapedi muke ambaye amemzoea mpaka ana heshima kuna watu wanatoka wakijikinga halo hai hai bwana asifiwe niliona mmoja mzee ambaye ako na mali pali rafiki yangu tu na kuna kitu mzee anachukia sana kutokuheshimiwa ye hujijua kazini anaogopwa ye mwanene mkubwa mdosu akifika kwa muke kuna kitu alichukia sana kuhusu mke wake mama chakuwa nampa alichukia muke kwa sababu hajui mzee alibadilika aisema bishop unajua huyu tulijuana akiwa hana pesa na hata akiwa hana nguo mbili 
Mama akitaja hivyo mzee husikia kutoka aende kazini kwa wale wanajua yeye ni mkubwa. Na hiyo kitu kawa issue inakuwa issue inakuwa issue kubwa. Hello praise God. Hallelujah. Hata kama tuli we hata kama tuliazana tukao hakuna hatuna viatu store hizo achane nazo. Sasa tuko nazo. Hata kama tuliazana tukiwa tuko na kilo dhate. Store za kilo dhate achana. Sasa tufike za 360. <laughs> hata kama tuliazana kwa wajinga hapana leta store za wajinga. Ujingo liisha. The days of ignorance ili. Sasa tumesoma na tunajua kuishi. Amen. Hata kama tulipoanza ulikuwa tunakula kwa kiosk ya Moigai, Yoson. Hapa sasa hiyo story imei. Sasa mabashironi kupeleke Hilton. Si unavyo make smart. Takukosha kwa kwa Moigai. Wakati vijana walikuwa nakula hapa kila wakati unakuta wanu unanuria faraja hayo sababu ya kuharibika tubu. May God bless you. Ah, bwana wabariki sana. Nataka mwaka huu tutiane moyo sana. Wale mlizoeana kanisani muache sasa. Uone mwenzako akiwa mfaume aliyeinuliwa. Ona dada akiwa wa maana. Ona ndugu, na any time unasalimia mtu mtambilie. Mwambie you are blessed, you shall be mighty in the Lord. Tutiane moyo bwana. Hata watoto wetu wapo tuliza. There are times unakuta wazazi wengine amezoea mtoto wake paka uelewe mtoto wako sasa alisoma. Let me tell you, mtoto ambaye alikuwa standard 8 na sasa ako university, tuogea ukweli. Kuna kitu anajua? Huwezi muweka kama mtoto wa bani ngubaru. Mtakosana kiakili utakuta anakuheshimu kama mzazi lakini kiakili mnakosa And that's why unakuta your son or your daughter akitoka gate ya kanisa pale ya kwako akuta kimwanamke kamwambia you are smart you are great anavutwa Kutoka sasa wao watoto tumezaa let them feel they are great in our houses Amen mutabilie Mwambie sasa wewe miaka ine ijayo ninaona hivi ndio akitoka pale no one you introduce a plan kwake ya uongo atasema already my dad and I my mom and I we have some plans we have some amen mwambie nimepanga hata kama una pesa nyingi mwambie nina mpango nina imani ya kupata pesa nyingi mpaka uende bali wewe. Waambie wakikula. Waambie can I speak to you my children? Muniombe nami ni waombe. Kwa maana mtaishi vizuri. Na kitabu muolewe kila mtu atarao bedroom yake. Muombe sana. Let them feel that there's a plan in their own place. Na msiogope hivyo divyo utafanya na utaongea wewe. Haleluya. Naye Bwana atafuata hiyo testimony. God you follow your confession. Let me tell you nobody ako tayari. Sikiza. Taabu uchungu na shida sio mokimo uitie mtu. Vinati mokimo. Sio Christmas. Watu wengi hata kama kuna shida ukiongea shida sana they feel like running away even if hatuna viatu speak power speak encouragement amen hallelujah na niwaambia siri nyingine ukizoea kuongea hivyo is very easy to prophesy mungu hatumi ulimi au mtu about daima anaona kinyume katika prophecy prophecy a prophet is somebody who agrees with god hata sometimes unaangalia mtu tu na kwa maana akili yako inakubaliana na Mungu kuhusu mtu unakuta tu dakika moja manena unajua kuna mama tukutana hapa na watoto amishika mtoto hivi 
nikamuliza haya uliza halini kwa maana tuliomba naye muda mrefu abarikiwa na watoto akabiwa bishop kubuki nikwambie eh siku moja nikienda pale kulikuwa na prewedding tulikutana naye na anateremka ila uchoko unajua sisi hatu na muda wa kuongea ati mambo ya kwenu viazi tunaongea ile iko akabia haleluya ai habari yako nada uliza hiyo ni kwa salamu wewe usiuze hivyo hiyo ni upako ya bishop Sema bishop si jaza. Nikamwambia tu haraka, "Enda wiki hii uko msifu, na uwe na mimba wewe." Hata roya, na nikaenda. Hapo ndio alitoa hiyo. Aniambia bishop, "Wiki hii unipata mimba na ikaza." In fact, niliobea mtoto hapa akiwa na mimba ya wapili. If you are positive, yaani wewe ni mtu ambaye unakubaliana na mema, mema, mema ambao Mungu amewekea watu, utajipata utanena neno na Mungu alitimize na mwaka huu change your mouth change your attitude amen huwezi tabiria watu ambao una niaba nao huwezi kama kuna mtoto wako una niaba naye ni vigumu sana uwe baraka kwake ni vigumu sana umtabilie na kwa maana ni wako na ni wako ni damu yako unatoaabia ni mbaya tumpeleka wapi na ni wako wazee habari yenu Let me tell you the truth. Mnasikia? Ukifika miaka ya litaya, hakuna mtu atakuridhi mwingine. Ni hiyo jabazi yako meuda jabazi hiyo litakuridhi hiyo. Tunakuta wazee mtu wa Kenyatta ile jacket ako naye ni moti papas. Hapa ako na rog book tatu, rog book sagari. Title D tatu hapa. Na kile kinamuua sio malaria. Mm-hmm. ni pressure kwa sababu ya watoto and you know very well watoto wakiharibika na nini mama huwa upade wa watoto hata wakiharibika ukizeeka watoto wao wakora nini mama sema nitakufa na wa jeshi kubwa hata bado sababu mama ni jeshi kubwa we sasa sema hiyo si mahubiri hiyo ndio mahubiri riu kitabu tuome madhayo wewe si gomada kare kasjano meza hiyo hiyo ndio damu yako na hiyo ndio atakuridhi abraham aliambiwa mwenye atakuridhi atatoka kwa mwili wako nina munio kata le munio wako kuna mwingine lazima sasa ukizeka ukedina chi mwambie di kwa damu modo mingi jiadae kama isaac wakati Abraham alizeeka. Kama unaandika notes, andika hiyo nimehubiri. Hiyo point number 1 utaandikaje? Hiyo ndio mahubiri ya kweli. Wewe hujaandika kitu? Ha! Baba Franco, andika bishop amehubiri hiyo. Hata anaweza kuwaombea baada ya jumani saa saa hii. Haleluya. Baba Jeri, hiyo ndio mahubiri. Sasa yako na tone na Jeri hiyo. Kwa maana kile kinaita issues kabisa these days ni pressure misunderstanding attitude zinazoumiza and we can clear them in our houses we can clear them na mimi nimekuwa sasa nikilenga sana i've been serving god closer to people na kile kinashangaza ni attack ya satanist kwa families do you know you can have a daughter about already ame ako huko na hujui a son Hello praise God. Bwana aziviwe. Kuna mambo kuna mambo huwa tuabi. But I can tell you kuna family nimeenda. Nika confront mtu abaye already amekuwa kwa ushetani. Na nika and then unauliza, "Hii family, watu wamekuwa kikufa eh?" And the man tells you, "Mwenye unaombea." Bishop kama tuliombea hapa 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 akatwambia aunti yake aliyekufa last month ni aliua hapa hapa na afiji na unjua hawa watu they are so strong kwa family kwa ba akiingia kwa family watu wote wanakuwa waoga na wanakuwa confused therefore 
Malengo, the powers that are attacking families are so deep now. We need to overcome. Wa mama, kwa maana nyinyi ambao mmeolewa siku hizi mnaona sana, Timozedi anayetaka uba kila kitu. Kama let me tell you the secret. In the Saturdays nimeombea mradi wa kwanza anapewa ni kuwa mama yake. Mwana nimeombea mmoja hapa kwa kona ya kanisa last week but one. I say openly. So bishop I hate my mom. Why? She is so prayerful. Amezuia. Akaniambia mletea mama yake necklace. Ametoa kuzimu. Mama kaijua kaudi ya izivai. Akaletea brother yake mdogo. Saa. Mama kasema hii najua hii si nzuri. Bwana amenijia si nzuri. Akajaribu. Things are so difficult. Akajaribu kufanya sex na brother yake akasade tu. Ati waki miri yawe kikutana tu hivi. Power sina muingia. It never succeeded. There are things going on in houses. They require a praying mother. Praying mother. Upon a pair of toto chakura wa shibu wa shibu wa nenepe una ni vizuri we a praying mother. Hasa mama awe muombaji sana. Muombaji sana. I don't know kwa ni mta. Kuna mwanya ni yompea hapa kutuwa kahui ya Gauss High School. Mama yake diye mneta. Nitoka Roiro. Haku anayelewa. You know, nipo, alipo kobarewa. Alipo kobarewa. Haka kubatia mama yake hivya. Mom, I love you. Mom, you will not die. Why? What's happening? Kato mom, where do you go next project? Hello? Hello? Nimeobea mwingine ya katanga. <laughs> Alipo kobore wakasema. Bishop. I don't know you but I. Mimi nime wakopa. Kwa nini? Kwa maana pahali mimi nime toka. Levo hile nime toka. Niko levo abao. Hakuna gome ya giza. Ikifikilia. Kuna muhubiri. Hata niweza. Kwa nini? Akambia wahubiri. Wanakemea pepo. Akaniambia siku hizi tumeada beyond purple. Tuna weapons. Ile hizo isema muende shetani umushinde lakini umunyanganye siraha anazo tegemea. Do you know that girl ugemuombea hata anaokoka? Lakini agebadrika na kwa kama nyoka. Ni wale wako dani kabisa. Sasa Nipo mwa, nipo muombea nikamwambia nao nikamwambia my sister look at me ninaona kwa macho yako siraha unazotumia kuwa watu na kulima kanisa aliaguka akakwambia kuja hapa alipokoporewa alikuwa so deep kwamba hata hakuli wale wako so deep hawakuli nyama na hakuni maziwa because they they do some things at night alikobolewa tulipenda kwa nyumba do you know Alihesabu watu wa bali kuwa wea. Sama shosho yake alikuwa akupe next month. Kazi ni yake alikuwa. Alikuwa meapanga. Four months, four months, four months. It's over now. I give God the praise because last week but one, after maybe three, four years, the girl called me. The bad bishop. I'm the one who was delivered. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. We. Na yoni mahubiri. Yoni point number two. Now, we are sharing on a topic kwa kifupi sana, when Jesus Christ takes over. When Jesus Christ takes over, part two. Wakati Christo, when Christ takes over, aingia pahali tu, ahusike, na awe dia natawara, dia maingia, na kabisa dia maingia, he brings his name and his life. Katika wale watu abao Kristo aliingia akachukua nafasi Jesus brings his identity and he brings his life That's why unapata wakati mwingine hata Mungu katika Biblia alilazimika kupea watu new names Na wewe sio Jacob you are Israel I'm giving you a new name and identity. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. 
Majira kama Judah meaning praise. God could give even new name sometime. From today hautaitwa Salai, utaitwa Sara, mama mataifa. Why? Because God has taken over. God has taken over. Katika uko wewe ni mama Tasa. Salai, Salai wa Abraham. Lakini when God takes over, wewe ni mama wa mataifa. Katika uko wewe ni Tasa. Wewe ni kifo. Wewe huna heshima. Wewe ni wakutupwa. Wewe ni najisi. Lakini when God, when God took over, akasema nitafanya agano langu na Abraham na nyumba yake. Na kutoka sasa, hutaitwa Abraham. Utaitwa nini? Abraham. Baba wa mataifa. Why? I've taken over. You have a new identity and name. Hallelujah. Muki ataitwa Salai. God has taken over. And I'm saying this by the grace of God. When God takes over, ata leta, ata kama huta badirishwa jina, utapewa niyaigine. Niyaigine. Mambo ya kusema unaisha na nini. Ta... Do you know friends, ukita kujua mutu abaye God has taken over. Check the attitude. Check the attitude. Attitude. Check the self concept. Haya, self concept ni kile kitu utokea unapo jihisi. Agalia, kuna kuhisi mambo ya inje na kuna kujihisi mwenyewe. Now, when God takes over, utajipata your self concept imebadilika. That's why some people agasema I know my redeemer lives. Amen. Ugekuta David asema I will not die but I will live. Why? God has given me a new self concept. But leo kusema ninakufa, nimefika mwisho, sijui tafanyaje. Ah ah ah, nimepewa. The Lord is my shepherd. I will never lack. Impartation of new self concept. Naomba mwaka huu Mungu abadilishe uchihisi cha nyingine. Hai hai. Hai ya 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 ya. Nataka tukiingia kwako tusikie mama anayesema bishop my redeemer lives nataka tukiingia kwa hiyo biashara tusikio kisema ninamjua yeye ninayemwamini nataka tukiingia kwa hiyo biashara tusikie msema bishop i am the head and not the tail when god takes over anakupa a new attitude hallelujah Kuna kijana mmoja alipata simba inasa. Akaja kambia bishop, hii si yangu. This is for the for, this hii ni ya shetani. This is not my resort. Kama sio shetani sijui ni ya wapi. Unatakaje? Nataka kurudi form 4. Bishop, nikuletee my grade. <laughs> Kita baba yake asifikirie kijana akaenda kiabupa hapa. Akatafuta shule. He confronted some headmasters. A very good school. I'm coming to. The boy got a very strong B plus. B plus. Result is what a bishop. This is now my grade. It is a new identity. Kunania ya kuabukiswa. Na dunia. Na experience. Na mapigo. Na discouragement. Na kunania attitude. Ya kupewa. Na buwana when he takes over. I pray God takes over. Mm, my God, my God, my God. My God, 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 my God. You know what I'm going to hear Baba Chukwo Shukani, your family. Take over that family. Take over. My God, my God, take over that woman. Take over that single mother. Take over that widow. Take over that orphan. God, take over. Now I plead with you. To na paza mwaka huu, take over. Let it be known. God, you have taken over. Mpatie huu kijana wibo mpia baba. Mpatie huu mama ushuhuda wa ajabu. Mpatie hii family a new confession. In Jesus name. Pia yesu makofi. Hallelujah. We. Umeona mutu. Nani wa family yenu. Amejitia kitanzi. Amejinyoza baba ya tihana anachakura. Family. 
mtu alijua sababu atalikataliwa do you know why people wanakuwa hivyo kwa sababu ndani yake hakujaubika Mungu nia ya Mungu habari yako salimia ule amekaa habari sana Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana ainuliwe <sighs> Hallelujah Now if you check if you check now the confession of God in Genesis chapter 17 Bwana anamtokea Abraham anamwambia hivi Verse 1 and 2 When Abram was 99 years old. Are you hearing this? 99 years. Mungu anataka hata mjue umri. Ni umri umezidi. Ni umri umezidi. Dio Mungu anamtokea anamwambia. Anamwambia hivi. Abram, I am the almighty God. Walk before me be blameless verse the magic verse 2 and i will make my covenant between me and you nataka muangalie verse 2 e covenant ya nani who owns the covenant is god you see that's what god does ebagalia vizuri mungu huja angalia mimi mungu huja na nguvu zote we huna yeye amekuja nazo When God says I'm making my covenant with you. My yangu. Ni kumaanisha kile kinaenda kufanyika kinatokana na Mungu. Vile nilivyo Abraham nitafanya agreement na wewe na hiyo agreement ni yangu. Although ni yangu na wewe lakini I own it. I'm the source I'm the owner. I'm the determinant. I'm the person determining issues. We will agree with you this way. Mimi nina nguvu zote. Hakuna kitu sina. Kila nataka upande wako, nazamaje, tembea mbele yangu na ukamilike. The rest uniachie. When God says be blameless, anasema hivi wewe kredi takwambia ufanye ainuwe Yesu we kana ya galili kana ya galili dio watu kutoke utukufu who determined is Christ Mary alisema hivi wakati kulito kinywaji kiliisha na mseme ni pombe divai iliyotumika katika aruzi za waibrania ilikuwa traditional ni kinywaji traditional kilikuwa kinategenezwa na grapes na walikuwa wanakitumia katika harusi na ndio ilikuwa the main drink amen sasa bible nasema hiyo kinywaji kikaisha na ndio the main issue the main part in the menu katika harusi siku hizo na Yesu alikuweko mary akaenda akamwambia Yesu Jesus I know you uko area and I know you hawana hana kijua kimeisha and then Mary akaenda kwa master of ceremonies akamwambia come come whatever he tells you do it say after me whatever he tells you do it <laughs> Guvu si yako. Mira kusiwa yako. <laughs> Your work is to be blameless. How to be blameless in this context? Ni kila takwa bia do it. Let me tell something. Do you know you are so rich? Lakini utajiri ulio nao. What God has is for you. What God does is this. Nataka mshike hii. Hii yaweza kuwa ni milioni moja. Mungu ako nazo ni zangu. But covenant mimi sina, mimi ni wakupewa. Si ni kweli? Mimi ni wakupewa. Lakini mungu hivi, can I 
with you bishop Katimo yes ninataka kufanya agano na wewe utakuwa mhubiri wa kimataifa nitakutumia kwa wafalme na nitakuwa na wewe i am the almighty god chochote kinahitajika hata kile hujui niko nacho lakini nataka tu agree na wewe walk before me blameless kila nitakwambia fanya if you obey you shall become do you know you are all great niagaliani check your neighbor kama ako na hangover ya buzi ya jana kuna wengine wanakuta Unajua kuna wale watu walikula jana saa sita usiku. Hiyo chakula ingali haijasiagwa. Ndekuo, hata sio tuku. Ukimwangalia. Hata ukiangalia wengine hapa wako na ino kwa mifuko. You know, there are times tunataka shopping na my sister. Naambia can you please andika hiyo nataka unaona pale chini. No sisao kuadika ino. Because they expect there are people who will overfeed. Sio baya kama uko naye maji kwa pale kwa tap. Wale mlikula jana sana jana paka tubo imekataa ku. Unajua kuna chakula unaweza kula mpaka tubo inakaa kwa muda kitabu itafsiri. Ishi ni wetu ate ishi ni. Ah, hallelujah. Have you ever gone to a place umealikwa dinner? Chakula is too much. But size ya tubo ni ile ile. Are you hearing this? Chakula ni nyingi sa. But the size is still there. One time kuna a lady neighbor yetu hupenda sana sana kuona tu bishop anaeheshimu amekula chakula kwake I did know kwamba kanisani kwao ameomba ruhusa every sunday huja na chakula imepikwa kama five star anapika anasema wa huduma watakao hudumu watakula lunch yake hiyo ndio tabia yake throughout hata kwa, kwa kadhi throughout Hello, praise God. I don't know what happened to Akata Zeme Estate. Akabia my wife, please. I would like Bishop. Akule tu kitu kwa nyumba yangu. Nikasike yu mwariko mepanuka. Nikaika waze. Siju, unikuweko? Kuna waze watatu wa ene. Wada najua wanakura, wanaza kura msuri, diliarika. Sababu niliona, tube hagu ni hile hile. Volume ni hile hile. Nisiaibishe. That lady alikuwa mepika. Wala wazee mimi ufikia pa wanakura. Walikura matunda peke yake wakawezwa. But I note something. Nilipo weka chakura ni kaza kukura. Alimuaga machozi. Hama ya nila this lady. So Bishop I'm so happy. Hata kama ni vijuko bili umekura kwaku. Najua huya najua kufuna manini baraka. Hallelujah. Natuka odoka. And I tell you she's becoming very rich now. Na onanga mangali naenda kwake. Hakuna several companies. Nini nini. Siwa apostolic faith. Hello. Ni kama ula nisema I have perceived my neighbor is a man of God. I have perceived. Kuna watu vuna baraka. Ana. Anavuna hapa, anavuna hapa, anavuna hapa And they get rich By God's grace Amen, hallelujah I'm saying this by God's grace Listen carefully Nini Ati nini Mukonda utajiri mwingi Kai, nini Tazi tapaja chato waelewe Sijui ni tembeo ni kiwapiga na hii. Muna elewa. You are great. Hallelujah. Koeji. 
Ile nyumba umeleta kacherondo. Hiyo ni kidogo sana. Hiyo ni mahali ilitokea tu ukienda polisi. You are great. In fact, hata ile baba jo umeleka pale. Ile ile hata siku naomba bomo yako aka uyaangalio ibike. Eh. Unajua God can put in you glory. Jana niliangalia mlango wa kwangu. Na ndio naona ni mzuri. Nikaona ni mbaya sana. Sura baya. Nikapiga simu kwa mtu ambaye anajua anaweza tegeza mlango. Namuja nataka mlango mzuri kwa wa state house. Lakini nikakuta wako wako nisikukuu. Sio let me tell the truth. God can put in you his understanding. Kuna mambo Mungu ako naye. Musa we, by the way Musa alionyeshwa in heaven. Akaonyesha madhabahu kabwa. Moses ni jege duniani. Madhabahu kama yale nilikuonyesha. God can still grow, show you his glory. Akwambia do in your family what I showed you. Na msiogope. Wewe hama bwana. Si Abraham aliyebwa hame. Toka kwa watu wenu. Toka kwa jamaa zako. Toka. Come out. Because God can only use you if you come out. Hallelujah. Nataka uwe na maono mazuri mpaka ukitaka kujenga nyumba uvute kazi mafundi watatu. Hapo hawashiki maono yako. Mwambie wewe paka hapo huwezi mafundi ya kijenga fezo wapi mahali umefikisha. Huwezi huna huwezi elewa the next glory wewe umefutwa. Leta mwingine. Wewe nawe ujuzi wako umefika mwi. Sio mtu aje tu na nyumba yako napiga tu smiti. Titi ti, mwambie ti, eh, inoka. You know why already una mchoro wa utukufu kwa kichwa. Naomba msichezewe bwana. Ah uwe na akili ambayo imeona utukufu. Amen. Hata gari yako ikioshwa na fukuza kaosha. Mwambie endoka. Kwa ukili ya gari wewe. It is possible. This is we hamuna maisha mawili. You have only one life. You have only one season. Musa alikuwekwa kaeda. Amos alikuwekwa kaeda. When Abraham alikuwa kaeda. You are the Abraham today. I say kama kuna utukufu naonekana ni kupitia kwako sasa wewe ndio uliye hai leo. And that's what God says. Nina nguvu zote. Mungu hasemi wewe una nguvu zote. Ako na nguvu zote. Akasema hivi. On the basis of my power and my glory. Nataka nifanye agreement na wewe. Na kile nataka kwako ni hii. Just allow me to be great. Be blameless. Being blameless means unatii Mungu sana na unatii sana na huwezi muzuia. Tebea bere yangu ndio. Uko bere yangu eh be blameless. Nikwambia kati una kati. Kwambia wewe ni mkubwa unakubali. Niko nyuma yako and have all the power. I just want to allow me to flow through you. Allow me to flow through you. Allow me to give you great things. Allow me ni kuambia mambo makubwa yangu. Nikikwambia Jeliu tama Kiabu Road, uende uwe neighbor ya Uhuru pale. Allow me. Allow me ni kuambia mambo ambao kwa wanadamu ni vituko lakini kwa Mungu ndio ukweli. Allow ni tembee tu kwa soko yako. Nikwambie hii ni mwazo mdogo. Lakini nikwambie inua macho. Inua macho kama Abraham. Wewe unaitwa Tasa lakini inua macho. Tazama anga. Vile uwezi hesabu nyota za agani. That's who you are. I'm now producing from my sight. Allow me to flow through you. Be blameless. When God takes over that's how he work in my life. Mkutari twende bali. Na nataka mbadilike mpaka kuna story hutaruhusu mtu akwambie in this church. Mnasikia? Kuna simu tazim utapiga mbio mtu God bless you. Unajua kuna watu kanisani wamezeekea huku. Hatutaki uzee wako. Twataka your season. Huwezi abia vijana mimi ni mzee sana hapa. 
mimi wa zamani hakuna mtu wa zamani hapa Mungu ndiye wa zamani na milele the truth is chomoka na majibu ya wakati huu tokea na unabii wa wakati huu tokea na ujuzi na uhitaji tokea that's what we need friends that's what you need hata watoto ambao tumezaa mnaona haya naambia wazee hapa watoto ambao tumezaa allow them amen kadha dia wali soka bia te ina majini wanatumia pale ona kama ni mbaya sijui nini kama unatakaje which is the best mimi sielewi <laughs> nikapiga simu america saa hiyo hiyo ikanunuliwa nikasema buy the best bishop shoka alikuja naye the second one is on the way coming it's expensive but let's allow the wisdom where is watu sasa hii kadogo hivi kanazimika kanazimika hapana si matoka sadaka sadaka inunue si ni huduma hata kama tutatoa hizi sasa hizi ni tuingie tuna tunaleta ingine aingine zin meona ingine meona watu ndio wakitumia hapa kengine kengine hii ni nzuri haya <laughs> haleluya habari ya maisha Ukitaka kufurahi, allow God to renew you. Mwa, wacha Mungu akue, akupe mabe ya kule. Hata kama u, ni magumu, wacha akupe. Na hii uzee tuko nayo tamini ni mzee. Usituambie wewe ni mzee. Let me tell you. Kulibadilika. Berendi ugeenda na uzee kwa us, siku hizi wewe situa watu na uzee na umama. Kile kinafanya watu wakuheshimu ni idea and performance. Na ndio maana wazee kuna badilika tunaachwa. Unakuta kazee ile heshima unataka nikiwekewa kiti hapo kwako kwa nje na kikobe ya uji na unaacho hapo na mama anaenda. Umeona mzee anapagwa hivi? Nigete ole dai. Na kamesa. Na mikate na. Na unaacho wapi? Mama enda, mama anaenda kikoba. Mama anaenda chijui Rudhuri Avenue. Sidio. Na ana jida jioni atarudi. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Unakuta sasa <coughs> nime shida tu hapa. Uh, eh hey, eh hey. ande. Na mimi nimeenda nikabarikiwa sana. Mama ana shida uko yake. Unapikiwa. Umeshiba ye. Utakaje kurara rara? Asubuhi kiti hapo. Unataka muziki kimenenepa? Eh? Kinakaga wapi? Na huna shida heshi mapea watu ya mzee. Lakini the truth is. The truth uko hauko masaa. Huu sio wakati ambapo mwanaume ni mgurumo, mwanaume sasa ni performance, ni talent, ni gift, ni, ni performance na majibu ya maisha. Kujibu yes. Sema kwako toa majibu sababu tunatoka saa zingine unaona kwa kwa shopi do you know why they stay there they are running away from real questions unakuta mtu ame real questions school fish nini nini maswali na saa zingine hata mama amuna dhigidhigi nyingine hakuna haja kuondoka tudhigidhane unasema nini hui na mimi nasema hui sawa sasa natoka kwangu niende wapi sasa bwana wabariki <laughs> muko na yesu be blameless wacha mugu sasa akiataka dhulumi kitendeke finally i want to say one, one, one other thing bwana asiwe sana bring his name as my life ukiangalia okay, judges chapter 6 let's just leave there judges chapter 6 You know that story very well. Judges iko baada ya Joshua. Baada ya Joshua, unajua Judges ndio walianza kuogoza Israel. Judges chapter 6. You see now the main person God akiingilia ni mzuri. Hapa tunaona Gideon amepatwa na the age of the Lord. Verse 11. Now the age of the Lord came and sat under the ter- Pint tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash, the Abizalite, while his son Gideon 
threshed wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from Midianites. And the age of the Lord appeared to him and said, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. God is with you. Amen. My God, take over now. Give me a new name. A new status. Ukiagalia is verse 11 and 12. They are different. Verse 11 says, Gideon anapepeta gano kwa sinikisho amejificha ili asipatwe na maadui wanaitwa nini? Midianites. Sinikweli. Nea mungu anakuja katika hiyo shibo. Anamuambia Gideon you are mighty man of war. Mighty man of war. Haya, have you ever noticed wakati Gideon aisema how? How can I be? Nyumba yetu diyo maskini sana. In the tribe of Manasseh. We are very poor. Baba yetu ni very poor. Na mimi kwa your family. I'm the least. Hata sifikiriwi. How can I be? Do you know? Where? By the way. Do you know your masari ya kujibiwa? Are you a No. You are mighty man because I will be there with you. I will be there. You are mighty man because I'm taking over. I say I'm taking over. <laughs> my God take over my life. Hallelujah. Take over my life. Nataka tu baba niwe na we hapo. Niwe na wewe. Take over. Take over. Take over. My God take over. Because when God takes over. Hata kama we ni mfupi kiasi gani. You are mighty man of war. Hallelujah. Na gino ni abuaje utapiga. How maadui unaujificha kutoka kwao. Wewe di otawapiga kama tumutu moja. Ah, when God takes over, he gives you an identity, a name. Do you know, jina Gideon haiku badirishwa. Kwa maana rabda buwana kekua shida kupadisha hae di yako. Kulu kwa majina ngini ya ndo ya muta ito wa anogo. Ndiya geto wa hiti. Inu watu mje. Ito there are so many names. Kuna pastor moja tuli ordain. Jina baba yake akabia inamusubua. Jina baba yake. Kabia bishop. Inamezekana siku ya donation. You don't mention the name of my dad. Sababu ya nini? Kwa maana jina baba yangu. Inaitanishwa na mambo ya divination na uchawi. Akabia bishop. Ata nilijalibu kutaftia my son. Niambia baba, baba, hii nakubali. Do you have a nickname mwingine baba ni mweta mpemba? <laughs> Hello, praise the Lord. Even if we have naitua jinabaya. Wano go. Wama nyoka. You know what we have so, so, so many names, eh? Moragori. <laughs> Wajina ikine abao Ukietanya sana Inabeba kitu Unajua naza hitu wajina abao Mutu wakikuita kirudia rudia 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 unomo na kichwa Unasikia jina yu kitu wa sana Muragori 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 Usikia Kuna marohi na niingia yu Jina kitaju wa sana Nani hapa na jina abao Nasikia jina Sinuwa mkono lakini Nani nasikia Jina Halo Bwana asikia sana Don't worry don't worry about the name. When God comes in, ata kama kita burisho haita badirishwa, God can give you your might. God can put in your might his name. You are mighty man of war. Where are you here for? Ata kama naitua mukia. Ata kama naitua gokoma. You know people could give you a name. Unajua sababu ya taabu ilio kueko. Majina ingine ya ba ilio koto wa zibili torewa wapi. And it's been passed over. Let me tell you the truth. Mungu wa kija. Akuite mighty man of war. Take that one. And that's what we said. Dio utoke uleta what we call antagonism. The way you appear is not the way your name is. Wambia mungu, when God took over, he
He gave me a new identity. Akaniita mighty man when nilikuwa kwa mashimo. Na akaniambia nitapiga maandui kama mtu mmoja. God bless and keep you. God anoint your life. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. <laughs> Unajua ukisoma John chapter 5, edo tutaweza kusoma tu kuna jamaa huyu alikuwa hajiwezi miaka mingapi? Miaka 38. That's why I love Christ so much. Bible say Kristo akaenda direct. Akapita wengine akapita akaenda kwa direct. Bible says na Yesu akijua amekuwa hivyo miaka 38 akamwambia gentleman do you want to be whole? Do you know mtu we habari yenu? Naomba Mungu akutokee. Unajua kuna hali mtu anakaa naye? Habari yenu? Kai. Si tukaguane. Hmm? Unajua kuna hakuna mtu ana hiyo. Hakuna mtu hana hali. You are brought up in or you have stayed on with. Ambao imekuunda. Kwamba ukija kutingizwa hivi unakaa kama talibo. Umeubika in some experience flani Unajua tulipokuwa wadogo sisi tukikuwa chai ilikuwa ya kina baba na ma sisi tulikuwa tunakunywa uji Viatu ilikuwa ya watu wakubwa sisi tulikuwa tunaenda shule bila viatu Habari yenu Wakati wetu si wakati wenu Hello praise God sasa sisi na saa zingine kuku ni ya waheshimiwa. Sisi wenu wachwe kasubu kidogo ukwe nao ugali na utoshe nusi uge. Na madhagiro. <laughs> na no. habari yenu sasa uweze apia watu wa siku hizi hivyo atawaambia mtoto wako kwa sababu wewe ulikula hivyo na yeye akula hivyo hakuna kitu kama hiyo hakuna kitu kama hiyo hakuna hakuna we can't allow that atume ate umenua bata umenua jam umenua mayai watoto wako wakipika naambia karibu na pika hivyo kwani hamjui ni pesa acha what you need to do is to regulate they should eat well but regulate amuka mapema wa mama nyinyi mtoto akagua nyinyi unajua sadi mwanako wako wazuri sana You are still good. Eh? <laughs> Unajua kuna kijana niliyopata pahali anaenda kukaa kwa aunti yake. Shule kifungwa, anapeta sana kwa kwa aunti yake. And one day he was saying, "Aunty is organized more than my mom." Kwa nini? Aunty huamka saa kumi. By six, break breakfast iko kwa meza. Sheria kwake ni kwamba ikifika 6:30 kila mtu ameoga wanakaa around the dining table they eat breakfast together na akasema mimi kwetu mam mam na dad naona kama mama naamka saa tatu. mtu anaingia jikoni kivya nikiingia mbele sitakula mayai tatu. habari yenu Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awalinde. Ah, uh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus akasema do you want to be home. That, that man we miaka 38 ya meni. Na mtu ametokea hapa dakika tano. Nini kimejaa kwa akili? Si ni ujuzi wa shida ya miaka 38. Miaka 38 lazima uwe ah, hapa wale tumefikisha miaka 38 ni wachache. Ni wangapi hapa tumeenda we are Beyond that eight you know no see no aibu hiyo ni miaka yako beyond that eight hasa wa mama mna kwa hiyo utapitisha hiyo sasa can you imagine coach huu mtu hajiwezi miaka 38 kumbuka wakati ulizaliwa pale ni ni naitwaje cherodo huyu jamani mimi ndo kwa kidaka kura ugali sana cherodo 
Tangu kwaje zaliwe chorondo. Eh? Miaka mtu hajiwezi miaka 38. Lazima awe hiyo kutokujiweza ndio the real life. The real but Jesus want to take over. I'm you know, gentleman. Eh? Walk before me blameless. Kile nitakwambia uti. Do to be whole. Eh yes. Mimi hapa nimekambia kadhaeit. Na unajua hapa kuna malaika huja na anaingia kwa maji. Atakaingia wa kwanza ndio upona. Na mimi sina mtu uh, uh, niki. Do to be whole. Unajua uh, 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 isakambia rise up and walk to corridor and bani. Jamaa akaamka, akaondoka. I want to say this. You could have lived a life. Are you ready for a new world? Are you ready for new orders? Naomba Mungu tu asikio bilangu. Atokee kila mshirika wa hii kanisa kama alivyotokea Gideon. With new orders. Na asipitie Saturday. Dio ibada ya Saturday nione mkiruka mnaguza pa. Pastor ulisahau mambo ya kuuza pa. Dio sad nione sasa unaprekata kisa yuni Wata sasa yuna ibaya hivi unajua unajua by the way you sing ina inaweza vizuri kuna ma kwa hado hati unajua kuna mtu ameshikwa pahali haezi nua mguu yote nataka atoke atoke na new orders Was jana ni bishop nataka kuona Takwa ni kitebera. Nitakuletea dubu next week. Nako hapi ako tu area. Ah, yini. Tulie mochele waku. Eh, yini. Haloroya. Eh, eh. Uniambie bishop najua something. I applied green card na nimeitwa. Nini makosa? Statement wa kupatia brother. Tazo kusidikisha. Hiyo ni babo going to hear. Sasa tukikuona umeingia umetoka, umeingia umetoka kiatu ni ile. Unajua kuna dubu moja ile yabia. Na ndugu huku. Bishop haraluya nataka tu grisita na nitaenda bali kai utaenda bali grisita shika the only thing he did the following day unajua watu wana shetani na madharau ni kiato ilinua mpya na kaja naye hapa pesa pekaka milioni nua tu kiato bishop nitaka naba mungu atokea na new orders akuite jina linawabatana na your mission you are mighty man of war your mission is great hallelujah hallelujah oh naomba mungu tu akupe new order Am, amuri mpya agizo jipya uletee familia yako a new talk a new confession you know one day i i had to people talk Nikaambia sasa the way you are speaking you can cause death. Kama brother yako akija atuna unampatia ashuda to cry, cry on. Siku hizi let me tell you mtu na, na baada ya kulia didia hapa tu dugu jipe moyo. No umemaliza eh haleluya enda. Hapana naomba ubadilishe bring a revolution kama ni chakula hana mwambie kuja hapa chukua chakula enda upike mkule na kesho nione may god give you orders niwi hallelujah in just christ name abi watoto wako hakuna hata moja wenu atafukuzwa shule as long as jehova anaishi na mimi niko hai mungu niite jina jipya mungu no sikawie i want i desire to see the joy of the lord in this temple the joy nione teenagers wameanza kuwa prophetess na prophets nione vijana vya bishop the lord is showing this uniite nije nikanyange hiyo go down because you are now becoming an exporter hallelujah Nione sande unaingia pale kwa gate una watu watano wameokoka kwa maana una amri ya kihuduma Bwana awabariki 
when Jesus Christ takes over, he gives you a new name, an identity, na anakuka mbena kwa bia sasa. Sasa, you are mighty man because I will be with you. Gideon, you are mighty because of my presence. Wata kuona ni kiwa na yewe. Bwana wabariki. Sama yetu shukuru mungu. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Tuomba wakati huu na majira haya. Utebereei kanisa kwa jia kubwa. Utebereei vijana kwa jia kubwa. Bwana uliye mtebereea Gideon. Aliye jificha maandui. Uka muambia hawa maandui. Ata wapika kama mtu monja. My God call somebody to rise up. With a new identity. Tumetoka bali. Lakini tunaenda bali because of you Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. Baba bingu ifunguke. Achilia mkono wako. Achilia uhuisho. Achilia utebezi wako. Atipo shetene mamosaya. Nataka unuwa mkono yako. Ujifungue. Mwabie buwana. Sasa ni nene upendavyo. Ni amuru upendavyo. Ni zae upia upendavyo. Baba. Ni angize upendavyo. Ni taenda bali. Ata kama ni meona mengi. Ya liyo dani yako buwana. Dio ina maana. Kwa ko ni na neno la mwisho. Kwa ko ni na neno la mwisho. Kwa ko ni na neno la kuishi. Katika china la yesu. Shetani una haki wewe. Hauta uwa mtu hapa. Devil you will not steal. You will not kill. You will not destroy. I say to you devil. You will not steal anybody. You will not kill anybody here. You will not destroy anybody. I declare now by the word of God. Kira mutu wa inyumba. Kira mshirika wetu. Kira mtoto mba tumeza. Na wale watazaliwa. Tunanena sasa. Wataishi. Shetani hata waibia. Shetani hata wauwa. Shetani hata waharibu. Hata wale tumeitanishwa now. They are covered through our faith and anointing. Katika jina la yesu. Oh, the bakataraba shendere bakuta impa katarabo setere makaya rapa shatarabo zika rekerere babo boshanda raba bosaya. Listen now, umekuwa kipitia wakati mungumu. Wewe ni kama Gideon. Umekuwa kitimia wakati mungumu. Umeka kuhari monja meka mingi. I want now to declare your deliverance. Kuna hali umekaa nae miaka mingi. Mpaka inajiunda na inakufanya mutumwa. It must stop now. It must end today. Hama sete maya. Kuna shima unakaa. Madui wamekusukuma. Anytime wewe ukochini ya matisho shiwe elewa. Na kwabia you are mighty woman of war. You are mighty man of war. You are a mighty family of war. Na kwabia mutatokea. Na mutamiliki. Na sasa. Madui diyo watakuwa chini ya migoyenu Na meseke ne maya Katika china la yesu Nasema katika jina yesu kristo Na laani uoga Na laani utumwa Katika china la yesu Ero chafu Itokao kwa shetani Ya kuwa Na kureta hali ya utumwa Na kuamuru utoke Na uweda katika shimo na giza Katika china la yesu kristo Plan ya shetani Na maagenti wake Na yodawa kwa dami ya yesu Na sema sisi Na wote wana itanishwa na sisi We are covered And we will live And we occupy We are mighty people of war We are not hiding anymore We are coming up With anointing and favor Mungu wangu Naomba guvu ishuki hawa watu Naomba guvu ishuki hawa watu Naomba guvu ishuki hawa watu Hallelujah. Lord, I stand in this altar pleading with you. Pomba, kama vile ujama, alio kame akadete it, ulijua hali yako kwa mtebrea. Tebrea mtu hapa kwa ziyala. Kama vile Gideon, alijificha kwa uoga, ulimtoa kwa shimo, ukamuita mighty man. Na ukasema he is mighty because of you. Toa mtu kwa shimo hapa. Na mungu wangu, nikiwa kwa madabao, my God, give me a chance very soon to offer a sacrifice of praise. Macho yangu ikiona ukobozi wa ajabu katika wa mama na vijana wa ze wa ikanisa. My father, lima sheka tapakaya. Release your glory. Let the joy of the Lord take over this church. Oh, 
inua ni mikono na hapa bwana watembelee sasa bwana ingilie mambo bwana asawishe mambo mungu atimize majira yake damu ya kristo itende maajabu jehova wa kinga na maovu bwana akuundie jia uwepo wa bwana kutangulie may god go before you like consuming fire may kata posanda mwana mina tarabishenda rike terema rike soto rima kasa rike posota rakashanda rike maseti rima sando robo saya Baba tunakushukuru. Bwana tunakuheshimu. Na bwana tunapoendelea na mwaka huu, we believe your word. We believe it's happening. In Christ we pray and we believe. Amen. God